guys welcome back to my channel your girl Faz is finally back today's topic is going to be my weight loss story because you know I did a vlog on like dieting and losing weight and the food that I eat like when I first started my channel but it was half an hour long so I want to do it in specific to my weight loss story and how I started my journey to where I am right now so let's get this started okay back in 2014 at the end of the year I said to myself I need to set a new year's resolution to lose weight in 2015 because your girl fats needs to look good on her holiday when she goes to Zanzibar that's right yeah so you know what made me set this target is because I've always been a chubby girl from since I was young, since I was a young age. So from you know primary school to secondary school and back in year 11, that was when I was 15, 16, I was like to myself, you know, I want to lose weight and I didn't know how to do it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to be walking to school and walking back from school. And that was about half an hour to 45 minutes. And I would walk to school on my own, but then I would walk back with my friend because she lives like close to me. So we was like, you know what, let's walk to school. I mean, let's walk back from school. So we walked together. As months went by, I lost weight. My blazer was getting baggy. My uniform was getting baggy. And everybody could notice it except me towards the end. Everybody was like, yo, girl, you look so good. You've lost so much weight. I ended up being like a size 10 and like even fit into size A like with stretchy clothes so your girl fast was you know looking slim and cute and her prom you know I was you know at the time I thought I looked good but now I just like girl you look so hideous anywho after that um came to two uh was it 2015 yeah no 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 I'm, I'm moving too. I'm moving too fast. I'm moving too fast. Came to sixth form. If you guys don't know what sixth form is, it's like uh, college. But yeah, um, sixth form, I was still slim. I was still looking good. Came to second year of sixth form, still looking slim. And then first year of uni. I first start uni. I'm feeling myself. You know, I'm still looking good. <coughs> As months went by, if you guys have been to uni or are at uni, you know first year of uni, all you do is turn up, eat crappy food, eat unhealthy food, go to the nearest fast food. And I lived quite close to town, so it didn't even help the situation, you know? Like, I was eating everything, okay? But, you know, it was my fault, and I put myself in that situation, and I got a bit carried away. And at that time, it was back in those days when I thought, YOLO, let's just eat everything. So I was just eating so much crap. As months went by, I just thought, you know, I still look good, I still look cute, and, like months went by towards the end of first year some of my clothes weren't fitting me and i could notice it and i tried to set up you know a target to lose weight but it just wasn't working because i was turning up every week and there was no point so after that it came to after i came back from holiday after my first year of uni this was when i was going to zanzibar every single year so this was like 2014 yeah 2014 i came back from holiday came to second year i moved in and obviously i was moving in with my friends that i met in first year and one of the girls that i was friends with at the time and you know we was going out all the time and stuff and as just months went by i just started to feel so bad about myself or I used to look in the mirror and just feel absolutely shit I didn't like what I saw in the mirror I just hated the way I looked I felt like so fat I just hated myself and I just was so miserable and moody and you know like it, it just it did kind of like hit me I was always drained and I had other problems uh like personal problems and it made me like comfort eat a lot like I was comfort eating really badly like I was comfort eating because I was forgetting about all the problems that I was having in my head and I just I was just eating shit like it really hit me and then towards the end of the year me and my friends and my other friend at the time I was like yeah we all need to set up a new year's resolution and we need to lose weight like no pain no gain we need to do this okay we need to do this okay 
and you know I will everyone's just moving in their own pace I I was just doing it like I, I was like I was being serious I was like Christmas holidays is coming I'm at home I'm gonna make the most of it I'm gonna eat up all the fridge and attack all the fridge I'm not even making a joke out of this but this is how I was actually feeling I was like I'm gonna eat everything make the most of it and me making the most of the Christmas holidays and eating so much did actually help because I wasn't craving as much the junky food and the unhealthy food when I was on my diet like in the beginning it was hard because I was used to eating that but I wasn't craving it as much so it came to New Year woo, 2015 yes I was like healthy food from now on I was like to my mum food shopping for my um flat I need to uh just have strictly healthy food my mom didn't believe in me she was like you say this all the time you ain't gonna do it i was like i am gonna do it i'm gonna lose weight my stepdad was like i need to see action i was like listen i'm gonna show you action i'm gonna lose weight okay i'm gonna lose weight okay i don't think you guys are ready for me so what happened was i was there was a gym that was close to my accommodation it was a free gym make the most of it free gym are you mad let's do this so I was you know getting into the gym all the time I was going to the gym actually like every day I'm not being serious I was like I'm being serious guys I was going to the gym every day I was eating healthy I was eating strictly healthy I was just having one cheat meal a month yes guys one cheat meal a month like I wasn't playing I was like I need to have this body i need this body i need this figure i need this buff figure to go back to normal i want my slim figure so yeah i was going to the gym every day did it fuck my head up yes it did because i was over exhausted i had uni work to do and it just it was everything was just draining like it was i was more i was more worried about my weight than my uni work like it actually did like have a bad impact in me like i legit thought that i would i looked like a pig like i know it sounds really horrible and no shade to everyone out there that are like you know a bigger size than me but that's how i felt like i literally felt like i was ugly i felt like i was just not i just felt so horrible about myself i hated the way i looked I just hated it and with me I don't like to show feelings as now I can but at the time I didn't like to show people that I was not happy I had a mask in my face like everyone knows that I'm very bubbly and energetic if the people that are the people that know me they know that I'm very bubbly and energetic and very fun and just you know I'm always full of energy but there were times when I was miserable I didn't want people to see that I was miserable I didn't want people to see that I wasn't I was unhappy so it literally did eat me up but people did see through my mask that I wasn't happy like people did see it like there were times I was upset I was emotional and people were like are you crying are you upset I was like no are you crazy like why would I be upset but I was upset I was I was upset I was I would wake up early in the morning I would actually cry my eyes out because I'm I'm not happy with the way I am or with the way I looked so yeah it did fuck me up and you know some people are like oh my god i can see a change in your face you're losing weight you know on snapchat everyone will be like girl you're doing well keep it up you've got this and i was in the gym all the time guys every day eating healthy my breakfast would be like cereal you know my fruit and fiber cereal i would actually went in like i went in like i actually ran out of money because the stuff that I was buying was you know when you're on diet is expensive like crackers and hummus for snack um salmon veg potatoes you know I was having fish and salad every day that's how deep it was or chicken and salad but that was rarely it was just fish and salad all the time like I was I went in one cheat more a month so from January to like may that's how it was did i have cravings during that week during that you know few months yes i did have cravings i was my first cheat meal i went in like i went in i bought everything like i was so hungry of unhealthy food so i just attacked everything and then i the next day back to the gym and then guys it was so around february and march it did kind of like have a negative impact on me because I felt like I was so obsessed with going to the gym that it fucked me up it fucked my head up so much and you know 
at some point I started taking it out on people that I love and you know it wasn't nice people were trying to shower me with love and I'm like uh stop do not even try it and there was other issues as well so you know my friends would give me advice they would help me you know you should love yourself like why don't you love yourself you should be confident in yourself and you're so beautiful you you know and it's just it was really hard and I had to seek professional help like it was good that my friends were giving me advice and sharing me with all this love and I really did appreciate it but I, I felt like I needed to speak to someone that actually understood me so I went and seek professional help at Brooke but they did have a counselling session and I was at that counselling session for four weeks and it was really hard like I was breaking down in tears all the time and I was just like so upset like it, it really didn't like it did fuck me up like and I did towards the end of my I didn't really finish the course it was 12 weeks but I did only did four weeks just because I said because one thing that my counselor said to me was you're on the verge of having a disorder I am not going to put myself in that position I didn't want to put myself in that position and I was like you know what I can do this and I can get through to it so after that I started going down with my days of going to the gym so I was like organizing my days and my schedule was much better and I was I started having a good routine like it wasn't messed up like it wasn't like I was going every day to the gym so you know it was it was really um yeah it was hard it was really hard but I'm so glad I finally battled this because like I feel so good about myself I feel amazing I feel like just I'm always happy and I always love myself and just like experiencing experiencing me as a person throughout this journey as well has helped me a lot and it just showed me who I really am and I just feel so good about myself that's the best things come out of it like I actually love myself and I love who I am when I look in the mirror in the morning I could spend hours in that mirror now I could literally look at I could be like girl am i carrying on with this dieting yes i do maintain my weight i do go to the gym at least once or twice a week so yes and i still do eat healthy do i have cheat meals yes i do have cheat meals and i'll go to the gym after and i just feel so amazing about myself i love myself and it's so important to love yourself and just know you were because if you can't love yourself how are you gonna love somebody else and it's just made me realize quite a lot of things like you know what I mean like it doesn't matter if you don't have the perfect body it doesn't matter you don't have those perfect body like all these celebrities you are who you are and you should just love who you are and whatever God has given you just appreciate it because you know what I mean like it's just it's it's shown me a lot and I feel so good about myself and my whole point of this video is basically to say if you put the positivity and if you put your motivation into it if you put your motivation in mind to it you've got this like all you have to do is just put your mind to it surround yourself with positive people and just be motivated if I have certain clothes that I, I would have not worn back when I was in my few years of uni I would have not worn it and now I I'm wearing it like I'm I, I'm just like bitch why I look good because I used to see my friends wearing them and I'm like yeah it won't look good on me and I used to feel so frustrated because yeah I'm glad that they look so good but I wish like I could wear certain clothes like this and it used to frustrate it used to frustrate me sometimes like oh my god they look so good and I look like absolutely shit so you know now i don't have that thought anymore no, ripped jeans crop tops body cons i used to wear body cons but i still didn't need to feel good about myself like jumpsuits um checkered shirts like vest tops with like checkered shirt and ripped jeans and you know things like this things clothes like that i would have not worn properly a few years ago i would have been like bitch who's wearing a crop top who's wearing ripped jeans i would have not worn it like i had a different 
fashion says back in uni I used to be like I'm not gonna wear them the girls used to wear them and I never used to wear them because I just felt so shy about myself um, I would be like it wouldn't it wouldn't look good on me like and it would never look good on me like makeup wise like I wasn't I never used to like be upgraded with makeup as much not saying that you have to wear makeup but you know I never used to bother with things like that just because I thought I looked ugly in the mirror and it wouldn't look good on me now I would spend hours like African timing African timing for me like literally it's, it's that bad like I literally love the way I see in the mirror I, I literally feel so good about myself and all I have to say to you guys whoever's going through this you've got this just put your mind to it put your motivation to it and you will see the best result whatever you aimed in your head to look like at the end of your dieting and at the end of your target just you will see that result I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure you like share and subscribe if you want me to do inspirational talk videos like this Make sure you email me, yes, and I shall see you guys on the next vlog. Bye!